Yo, what's up guys, Shinji Gidink here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Injustice 2 player. And this video is all about Deadshot. If you watched ECT, you would have noticed that the top 8 finals was a whole lot of this. A whole lot of this. And a little bit of that. So why is he all of a sudden a problem now? What happened before? Now pre-patch, when you had your Aquamans and you had your Supermans and you had your Black Adams, uh, it was a little bit more balanced. It was a little bit more ridiculous, but it was a little bit more balanced. There are more characters that could counter Deadshot. Now that all those characters have been brought down and Deadshot pretty much barely got touched, like I think this back one too got a nerf of like one frame. Yeah, I mean there's a gap in like every part of the string, but I don't think it's really enough. It's not big enough of a gap, it should be bigger. Especially for a low overhead that you can stagger. Let's walk him down. So what should we change on him? What kind of adjustments would we make? Uh, this is what I personally think should change. I think his assassin knee should be minus nine. Keep it punishable and then the mix-up is whether he meter burns it or not. Because he could just wake up with just, he doesn't even need to meter burn it. It's, I know it's unsafe but a lot of people are going to be waiting for that meter burn to come out. So it's kind of a guess either way. Spend the meter and be a little bit safer. It's still going to be punishable, but you're going to have to be tight on it. I actually have to practice it, which I think is fair. This move should be like way slower. Like that's way too fast as it is. I'd probably take it down to like 21, 22 frames. Give him an option, but I mean, he doesn't need 50-50s. I think his straight shot is probably fine the way it is. I know it's quick and annoying and stuff, but uh, he is his own character, and that's kind of what I think they need him to do. But I'd like to see him be more of a reads-based zoner, so that uh, making a good read and doing something is uh, can actually reward you for it. So for this, for example, that should be a little bit more negative. Especially when you start doing it from full screen. Like, it recovers so quickly. Like, having a move that's minus 5 on block from full screen, that's pretty much plus. So I think they should make both versions of this minus 17. I know the regular one's minus 17. The meter burn one should be minus 17 as well, because it's just too good. It pushes them back if they get close. It does good amounts of chip. Thank goodness that not every single hit builds meter, though. That would be so obnoxious. Like, he should have to use it the same way that he uses his trick shots, you know? Like, kind of aim it on where he wants it to go. He just kind of uses that kind of on a read on where the person is, and uses it at his own risk. I think that's all the changes I'd make to Deadshot. What do you guys think? Because I seriously think he's a problem now. You know, he, I, like I mentioned, I've, I'm always an advocate for zoning versus spamming. But uh, it does make it a little bit too easy for you to just kind of pick up this character and go. <laughs> so uh, something needs to be done about it. And turn him into more of a zoner. Make, make him make reads and actually, you know, figure out what the opponent's going to do and use all of his projectiles wisely. If you have just uh, pew 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 and whenever they get close, just push them back with that. So, Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff. And we'll see all you guys in the next video. Except you're dead.